video to an article on my blog um, entitled this is what I learned this is what I know I'm sticking with it and the URL for my blog is notes in the left margin dot com and I just had to put this bit of video in to fully describe what is going on um, with a phone call we got last week as part of my volunteer work. This was a person who in the 21st century is still using Windows XP daily on the internet. And they called in because um, they couldn't send or receive mail. And that turned out to be just the tip of the iceberg. So for those that have fond memories of Windows XP, and especially for those that have never seen it, I have Windows XP loaded up in a virtual machine. And so while I talk about what is going on with this person, and some of the ins and outs, um, I'm going to start it up. Now, it should be noted that when Windows, came, Windows XP came out, it was a pretty big shift. Previously, um, Windows were basically, Windows 98 was basically still layered over DOS. Windows XP used an entirely different kernel. Um, so it was the first Windows that was really, truly a windowing OS. Um, now there might be some people in the audience that know, I know there's gonna be a lot of people that know much more than I do. But that's the kind of synopsis. Um, all right. Now, if you got Windows XP, you should not, not be on the internet. But this is a virtual machine, and it is hooked up to the internet. Now, the first problem they were having was they could no longer surf. Allow me to demonstrate. This is Windows Internet Explorer or Microsoft Internet Explorer. So let's open it. And instead of a web page, we get a Microsoft address with a few additional parameters. And if I were to let it sit there, it would just sit there and do nothing. So let's go somewhere. Now that loaded perfectly. Doesn't seem to have any problem. And if we type in a word like uh, cats. Okay, it looks good still. Well, it's a little odd, but um, it, uh, oh, there we go. Security alert. Now, what is happening is that um, modern websites and indeed a lot of stuff on the internet uses certificates. Uh, this is something that is sent from the server to 
the operating system, it then allows it to verify that, yeah, it's connected to the right server and uh, the document matches what it can look up. Now, the way this works is that there's a certificate authority, a outside body that basically sends the certificate to the computer and the computer has a list of these authorities. And if it can find the authority, it can then go through the verification process and go, yep, it's the right address for the right server, yada, yada, yada. Uh, also, it's not bulletproof, but it's certainly a step in the right direction. Problem is that Windows XP hasn't been updated with the list for years. So, and the first thing you get on any web page is, I don't know who you are, basically. And it gives you a choice. Do you want to proceed, which you shouldn't do? But like crazy people, we're going to proceed anyway. So I'm going to click yes. And this leads on to problem two. Even when they, when they did click yes, it takes forever for anything to happen. And in this case, it looks like it's stopped altogether. So let's click another one. Oh, and this one is the uh, next error they get. And basically, Internet, Internet Explorer just doesn't know what to do with the page. And I suspect that that is a, a tracking URL. And that may also confuse things. But the point is, even when um, a web page does work, and I'm trying to get one that works. It's slow. It doesn't matter about the hardware because I'm running on a really fast machine and her machine was equally slow. Well, we got something. Part of a page, yeah, again. Internet Explorer just doesn't understand it and you continually get these um, warnings. Now you can, <clears throat> there are workarounds for them, but uh, it essentially just turns off the nag. And I would not advise that. Um, <laughs> so that was problem one. Another problem, and the problem that caused them to call in, was they were using, are using, <coughs> Outlook Express as an email client. And um, this was kind of the first popular um, email client that from Microsoft that allowed rich text, embedded graphics, and all those marvelous things that we all take for granted. Um, it, because of certificates and a few other standards, can no longer uh, reliably connect to a lot of email servers. At least that's what I thought the problem was at first. But then we went, it got a little darker because for this person, it turned out that what was going on was the email store, the folder where the email database files are held. There was a file in there or that was corrupt. And the solution was, according to some old documentation I found, was to go in there 
and move the files to another folder temporarily, recreate the folder using Outlook Express, then port the files back. And my goodness, it took forever. Um, so that also was an indication that their hard drive is failing. And to be clear, they have over 15 years of memories on this hard drive. And um, family photos, documents, and they will not move over to Windows 10. This machine that a friend had gifted them is sitting right there, right next to their Windows XP machine. They can use it. They admitted that much, but they hate it. And <clears throat> I begin to wonder, why? Why are you so entrenched in this one item, in this Windows XP? What? What is it? What's going on here? I think there's more than just um, a desire to use what is familiar. Um, and I've run across this a few times with people uh, where they just fixate. And um, next week, um, I am going to be working with them again. And my goal in life for that day will be to try to back up their material to a USB stick. Um, because if they lose that much material, that's a good chunk of memories and, and other things. And uh, <clears throat> hard drives, as you know, be it, uh, be it IDE in this case, which is old school or relatively old school, and or SATA drives um, or um, hang on or not SATA drives but solid state drives be any hard drive when it goes it tends to do two things a it slows right down and b if you don't listen to that it just dies <laughs> And that's what I'm afraid is going to happen to this person. And my question at the end of this little video is, first, A, what is going on here that might cause someone to lock into something so severely? And it just happens to do with, her, with this person to be specific about Windows XP. In talking with them, Every other topic we broached over the two hours I was working with them, uh, they were quite open-minded, and uh, it really is kind of mind-boggling. What does Windows XP represent for them? Or am I just talking off the top of my head? Because... Um, you know, it's just, I, this is the second time I've worked with someone who was fixated. The first time was a, a gentleman <clears throat> who was using DOS. And I won't go into the details, but where I volunteer, we still support dial-up modems <clears throat> for some of our clientele. And there is a way to do rudimentary, and um, I emphasize rudimentary surfing using text. It's called Lynx. Um, and it basically is a client that goes out on your behalf, scans a web page, and then strips out all the graphics, and then displays to you only the text. Um, and he, after three months working with him, and we got him another computer, which he hated, uh, and 
at the end of it all, he apparently went back to using DOS. And uh, uh, so I'm really curious as to what, 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 what locks people in. If anybody has a hint out there, uh, let's discuss it. Because I would sure like to know. And every time I broached it with our Windows XP client the other day, they just repeated that mantra. This is what I learned. This is what I know. This is where I'm staying put. And it was very, very, very clear. Um, and they understood that their machine is going to die. They understood it. But I think they, they, they kind of gone, oh, somehow it'll, it'll live on. Um, and uh, with that, I'll end my little talk that has gone on longer than I planned. But there you go on a weekend. Anyway, if anybody knows, let me know. Uh, if you enjoyed a brief overview of Windows XP, let me know. Um, or if you hated it, definitely let me know. And we won't do it again. Uh, but yeah, we'll see everybody online. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.